Yo, what's going on guys? We are back with a little bit more over here of Out of Ore. Today we're going to show you guys some stuff in the settings, like we promised from the other little video that we did. You probably clicked that little link and now you're over here. If you do, make sure you guys leave a like on this video. Appreciate that, dudes. You guys, we'll bring you some more content on Out of Ore and you know, a bunch of stuff like that. So make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe if you have not. Uh, we have all the graphic settings here. It's all pretty simple stuff. You guys know all about this stuff. This video doesn't need to be crazy too long. Settings, you guys know all this stuff here. I normally play with VSync on. It keeps helping my monitors a little bit from doing the little shuttering screen sliding. Uh, Auto FR, I'm not sure. Let's see here. Blade Assist is, we'll just leave them as active. HUD, obviously visible. Day and night, we can also deactivate those, which is nice. Uh, pretty simple there. So let's get into the meat and potatoes here, the controls. We got camera stuff. Let's just go ahead and leave this alone for now. Uh, because you know, it's just get used to the camera. That is what it is, dudes. Um, let's see here. Yeah, let's go. Let's get into let's see the rock truck. So first off with the with the vehicles, what I ended up doing was is since there's just a I really don't like when games do this. They leave a general button control for all vehicles. Then therefore you can't change them and tailor them like the WASD. For instance, if you want it for something else. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to change some of these. And some of these settings are not saving right now as well, too, guys. So remember, keep this with a grain of salt. You might have to keep coming back in here and changing these. That's why I wanted to make this. But this is what I've been doing to change them to default gold rush controls. So a lot of you guys have been used to playing that game already. You're used to those controls. So I'm just going to show you guys how to put them back there and what they are for the excavator, rock truck, and loader minus the WASD. We'll use the arrow keys to drive the vehicle around. So we changed the tipper box up and down to R and F and arrow keys will be changed here in a second. So general vehicle, some of these did not save. So we're going to change enter vehicle, leave that alone. Vehicle direction, go ahead and change that off, figure that. Uh, vehicle lights, leave it alone. Vehicle beacons, go ahead and hit, leave that alone as well too. Drive forward, we're gonna change that to d up, arrow key, and down for reverse. And we're obviously left and right, so change that out of there, get that out of the way so we can use those key bindings for other things. And vehicle steering, just this can just kinda stay the same as well. You can also change this on this controller to your liking as well, but this is for mouse and keyboard, gold rush default. So now, when well, we have the parking brake on, so just hit P and then hit escape. That way you can drive around. No problems. This one was a pretty simple one anyways, but I figured I would change it and show you guys why I changed from WASD movement. Uh, because the excavator and the front end loader are a little weird. Like I said, it'd be nice to really have whenever we jump into a vehicle that have its own set of keys for WASD. Um, that way we could leave the loader WASD, but not generalize all controls to WASD. I Devs need to stop doing this. Uh, Construction Simulator did the same damn thing and they realized right away that us players, we absolutely hate when they do that. Stop generalizing vehicles for everything. It's just a lazy, easy way out. Don't do it. Every vehicle we jump into should be different. No general controls, please guys, please. Devs, please change this. So the same thing with this here. See how it's all janky? WASD is all weird. It's all like, uh, what the hell's going on? Tracks are moving, buckets are moving. That's because some of the saved stuff didn't save from last time. So we're gonna go into the excavator and we're gonna go excavator swing. We're gonna change it to A. And then D, so left and right rotation. Boom. We're going to go, that's not saving. So we're going to go W and S. And then excavator arm out and in. We're going to go R. And then F. And then curl in and out. We're going to go T and G. That's for the secondary boom. And, or per bucket, sorry. Back out. Now we have articulation. We can move back and forth with the arrow keys and we can move the booms in and out and curl all at the same time. 
And like I said, it's it's the Gold Rush default keyboard controls that we're all used to. We've all played thousands of hours on Gold Rush. If you have not, then, well, rip. But, uh, yeah. That's... This is what I'm comfortable to. You guys may not be comfortable to this, but it's just a the reason why I want to do this is because it's a comparable game to something the majority of us have all played over the years. So it works. It's comfortable. Uh, a lot of us, like a lot of us, are used to it. So you can dig. A lot of fine control. Easy. The feet, the finger layout is not all over the keyboard. Crazy. Uh, like they have it set right now, default. So, but you can change these to whatever you want. Whatever's comfortable to you. Front end loader is. Pretty much the exact same, except for like I was saying, the default controls make it to where you have to use the arrow key to hand on keyboard method of simulation gaming is ugh, cringy, but hey, a lot of game companies seem to be going with it, but wrong move boys. We like to use our mouse as a camera, so not as a, uh, let's just play both hands like I'm playing the piano, but we're going to go ahead and go into the loader as well. And we're gonna go lift up, lower. So that saved, R is fine. This does not, did not save obviously. So we're gonna go R and F again for up and down. T and G for bucket control. Cause it's right into a nice little squared quadrant right there on your mouse or your keyboard. So R, F, T, G, up, down, tilt, bucket, up, down. And then you can use your arrow keys to push into the dirt wall and uh, collect those pay boulders. So like I said, this is just a common control. Like I said, a lot of people have been used to using um, myself. It just made the game so much easier to just bind everything to a game that I'm already familiar playing. You can do that with whatever game you might be familiar playing, whether it's Gold Hunter, Gold Rush, whatever gold game you've been used to playing freaking with heavy equipment. It could be Farm Sim, whatever your heart desires. Go ahead and change it on up those. Uh, hopefully this video helped you guys. The save settings are a little wonky right now, dudes. As you can tell, sometimes you'll have to change. Maybe come back to this video, check out what the default controls are, or write them down if that's what you want, so you don't have to keep opening a gold rush trying to find out what it is, and then coming back and forth. Mainly your keys are RFTG, WASD for the excavator controls. Uh, but if that helped you guys, hit that like button, subscribe if you have not, and we'll bring you guys some more out-of-war content coming soon. So take it easy, dudes.